Okay, so a quick demonstration of multicast events. Uh, we've got a skeleton application here ready to go to have some multicast goodness added to it. So let's go over what we're going to do. Um, we have an edit control here. Every time I make a change in this edit control, I want to see uh, this edit control update itself from this one, and also this label, and also this label. We've got multiple instances of this second form. So let's do that using the multicast. First things first, we shall declare ourselves a multicast event. And there should be a two multicast notify. And we should expose that on the main form as a property. Uh, they can't be published at, at this moment. I'm not quite sure how I'd go about publishing them, but we shall see maybe in the future. Um, and change. There we go. Don't need a, a writer, only a reader, because we're exposing a, an object reference, obviously. The other thing we do need to do is to construct or create our event. And the constructor for a tmulticast notify accepts a single parameter, which is the object that is ultimately the sender of the event. When it, when it is fired and destroy our event. Okay, so as it stands there, we have an, an event which is not actually going to be fired and doesn't have anybody handling it even when it is fired. So uh, let's first of all add a um, change event to the edit one control itself. And so what we shall do in response to an actual change on this thing is fire a multicast event. We just do event to do that. And now to actually make that do something, have a, have a consequence, we will need to install a handler. So when we're writing a handler, of course, it's um, just a, a normal Tino to five event method. So let's call it sync edit. So sender to the object. And the requirement here is that we set the text in the edit to control to the text of the sender. What we have achieved there is I think what I forgot to do was to add my new handler to the event itself. So there we go, it. So what we have achieved is what we could have done, could have achieved with a, with a unicast event. But this is a multicast event, so we can install additional handlers. So let's go to our second form and have a handler called sync label, call it t object, and this time around it's the label one caption that we're setting to the text of the sender. Not forgetting this time, I'm going to create our form. Main form, which exposes the onChange event, and we're going to add sync label. So we create a couple of instances of our second form, and we shall see it all happening as if by magic. It's not magic, just multicast events.